Hello, now it was suggested to me, could I do videos like an FAQ series, Frequently Asked Questions series, on various things to do with gas masks, because I've often done videos to explain why I like certain things, but never really, um, you know, like an actual series. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be the first video in a series, and then I'm going to put make more of these videos again, even if I've sort of spoken about them before, and then I'm going to make them into a series. So that way, if somebody asks a question, I can just direct them to the playlist and tell them to watch the playlist, and the FAQ videos will be in the playlist, so hopefully people can watch those first before they ask the questions that I have to answer, you know, every single time, several times a day. And the one I'll start off with is, what is your favourite gas mask, or what are your favourite gas masks? So favourite respirator, or favourite, or, you know, your top few respirators. Um, there's a few to go through on this list, so I'll start off with my absolute favourite one, which is the Avon CT12. And then I'll show you some of the others I like. I also like the Avon FM12, but as that's so similar to this mask, I won't bother showing it in the video. But my favourite one is the Avon CT12. The FM12 would probably be like third on my list or something. Okay, so this is the Avon CT12. The CT stands for Counter Terrorist 12, apparently. So it's a successor to the S10, one of the successors to the S10, and basically. It's like an S10 but downscaled a bit. Now, the what reason I like this one is because you can replace the filter. Um, you can, you know, take this blanking plug out and you can have a filter on either side. Or you can just have, um, you know, the one filter on. Or you can sort the filter if you're left or right-handed. So it's quick and easy to do it. So you get that on like that. Um, get your face properly into the mask. Then you tighten the straps as much as you want them tightened, they're the sort of quick adjust straps. The tube at the bottom are quick adjust, the rest have a buckle so they stay roughly in the same place. But there we go, so that's very comfortable. As you can see it would be an airtight seal if I had a filter on it. The reason I like this is simply because it's comfortable, gives a good field of view, has good polycarbonate, sort of plastic eye pieces, a good oral nasal cup, you know, this one doesn't have a drinking tube in, as you know, I'm not a massive fan of drinking tubes, so it doesn't bother me that it's not got a drinking tube in it. But overall, if I wanted a mask for actual use, this fits me very well, you know, and it has everything I like in a mask. It's lightweight, it's comfortable, gives you a good field of view, you know, there's not much you can say that's bad about this mask. So, if you're wondering, my absolute favourite mask is my Avon uh, CT12. While I've got it out, I'll show you the bag that I've how I've got it set up. So in this bag, I'll, I'll put the mask down so it's not going to drop anything. So the mask's in the bag. Then in the bag, I've also got an open filter, one of the S10 style filters. Uh, that's because this one still seems to work against vapor, and obviously the particulate filter works. So if I didn't need it for an emergency, I'd put this filter on. If I needed it in an emergency, I'd open this filter, which is an ABEC 2. Uh, P3 filter, um, still in date, as you can see. So in an emergency, I'd crack open this filter and have it on it for you know maximum protection. Um, and I've also got, I won't unfold all of this in here, but you can hopefully see the NBC poncho folded down. So that means I can unfold that quickly and put that on for emergency protective use against chemical or splashes from chemicals. So yeah, in the bag basically, I've got two filters the mask and an NBC poncho. Okay, so this is my second favourite mask and this is the Forshida F2A4. Again, it's another mask that's kind of based on the S10. Like the CT12, it's a very similar setup with head straps and everything else. Um, this one you can't swap the filter on and the voice diaphragm's not as good. That's the only reason it's really, I don't, you know, I prefer the CT12 to this thing. But overall, yeah, a very nice mask. Super comfortable. This is slightly more comfortable than my CT12. There we go. So, yeah, very comfortable. Even better field of view, actually, on this mask. However, unlike the um, CT12, as I said, the voice diaphragm isn't as good. Um, and you can't swap the filters from side to side or whatever else. But overall, it's very close. I prefer the CT12 marginally, but, you know, I'd very happily use this mask. And again, this is another mask where I've got the carry satchel. 
um, set up for emergency use. So I've got the mask in here and in there I've got two filters. Another sealed one of those filters like I showed you with the CT12 and another sealed filter there still in date. So in the event of actually needing to use it, I do have um, you know several sealed filters in there. So again, this is probably my second favourite mask I'd say. It's you know a bit like that with some of my favourite masks, but this is my second favourite mask. Okay, and now the next mask I really like, Avon S10, definitely. Um, you know, the dad of the other two masks I really like, kind of. Um, this one is like the FM12, CT12 kind of thing. It has a rubber head strap thing which isn't as comfortable. I've got the lovely out so it's on this one. It's got a drinking tube, but the FM12's drinking tube is better than the S10's, although they're fundamentally very similar. So overall, these two masks, um, I didn't show the FM12 as I said because otherwise it's going to get a bit boring if you're watching and I keep saying, well I really love the Avon S10 style mask so much that every mask in this video is like that. But yeah, there's the S10. As you can see, similar to the other masks, this one isn't quite as comfortable as the other masks, but that's why I don't like it as much. However, it has got the NBC ridge around the outside, which makes the mask a bit bulkier. But it does mean that you can put NBC suits with the mask a bit easier that way. Overall, a very, very good mask. I've talked about the S10 lots and lots of times in various videos. It's a great, great mask, don't get me wrong. It's just, obviously, there are masks that have improved upon its design since it's been made. That I have in my collection. And I can't talk about my favourite masks without showing my favourite Soviet mask. This is the Soviet SHMX. Basically, SHMS is kind of a Soviet abbreviation for Special Helmet Mask. Uh, helmet masks are obviously the ones with the rubber hoods, and it's special because it's got the optical bits for looking forwards. Um, so basically, it's got a voice diaphragm as well. Stretch it over your head. Then when the mask is on, it's got the voice diaphragm on it there, which is loud and sort of grating and cool. And you can see very well forward, so it works exceptionally well with scopes and binoculars and things like that. It's not too uncomfortable. The only issue I have is the uh, chin bit here kind of digs a bit into my Adam's apple. But other than that, um, it's actually fairly comfortable. It doesn't put any pressure on my head really. Makes a good airtight seal. Um, you know, the voice diaphragm works well enough. I can't really fault this mask at all other than, you know, it's a bit too much pressure for me there personally. But overall a very, very good mask. Definitely, I think, the best of the Soviet masks. It's a bit annoying that some trees still don't make masks like this, but, you know, uh, this was definitely my favourite Soviet mask. So, hopefully, anyway, this will explain to you for this playlist, um, the first video, what are my favourite gas masks. My most favourite is the CT-12, going down in the order I've showed you most likely. As I said, the FM-12 uh, would be in the video, but I didn't want to bore you and put another CT-12 derivative in the video. So anyway, there we go, those are my favourite gas masks, and in this playlist I'll be doing other videos regarding questions I get asked a lot, so if you have questions I can just refer you to the playlist you're watching now, um, rather than, you know, keep going, uh, um, yeah, my favourite mask is the CT12, over, and over, and over, and over, and over.